Hi and welcome back to freesciencelessons.co.uk. By the end of this video you should be able to construct ray diagrams to show refraction of a wave. And if you're a higher tier student you should be able to use wavefront diagrams to explain refraction in terms of changes of speed. So this video is all about refraction and I'm showing you two examples here. In both cases the light appears to change direction as it passes through the water and that's due to refraction. Here's a first key fact about refraction. Waves can change direction when they change speed, moving from one medium to another. So the best way to illustrate that is with a ray diagram. This shows a ray of light entering a glass block. Now when light passes from air into glass, the velocity of light decreases. In other words, the light waves slow down. This causes the direction of the waves to change. And we can show that by drawing the normal at right angles to the surface of the glass like this. When waves slow down, they bend towards the normal. The light waves now pass through the glass block. When the waves pass from the glass back to the air, their velocity increases. In other words, the light waves speed up. When waves speed up, they bend away from the normal, and we can see that here. Now this causes the image of the object to appear to have shifted position. Remember that refraction can happen when any wave changes speed as it passes from one medium to another. Now there is one important exception to this. If the waves enter or leave the medium at right angles to the surface, in other words along the normal, then they do not change direction, and I'm showing you that here. Okay, now if you're a higher tier student, then you need to be able to use wavefront diagrams to explain refraction. So let's look at that now. We're going to start by looking at what's meant by a wavefront. This is actually quite a straightforward idea. Imagine that a group of identical waves are travelling together like this. I've shown transverse waves, but this also applies to longitudinal waves. The wavefront is an imaginary line that connects all the same points in a set of waves. So here I'm showing the wavefronts connecting the peaks of each wave. However, we could also draw wavefronts connecting the troughs, and the idea would still apply. Wavefronts make it easier to visualise lots of waves moving together. So now I'm going to remove the wave diagrams and just show the wavefronts. We're going to use the idea of wavefronts to explain why waves can change direction when they pass from one medium to another. This shows light waves about to move from air into glass. Now when the first wavefronts start to move into the glass, those parts of the wavefront slow down. This causes those parts of the wavefronts to get closer together. As you can see, their wavelength gets smaller. This causes the waves to change direction towards the normal. In other words, the waves are refracting. And remember that when waves speed up, they change direction away from the normal. And I'm showing that here. This shows wavefronts approaching along the normal. Once again, the waves slow down as they pass into the glass. However, in this case, the whole wavefront slows down at the same time. And that means that the waves do not change direction. Remember, you'll find plenty of questions on refraction in my Vision workbook. And you can get that by clicking on the link above.